Hello, all, and welcome back to High Priest Reacts to DuckTales Season 3, Episode 16. Uh, just take a quick look. Episode 16 The First Adventure. Ooh, sounds like a flashback. I wonder which one it is. Scrooge's first adventure, Della's first adventure, somebody's first adventure. Swinaroos. Does maybe the first adventure of Isabel and Finch, which since that's his under central point in this season's own adventures and story. I just don't know. And that's that's a good title for an episode, a good plot for an episode. Whatever it's whoever's first adventure, it's great. A great idea to center a plot around something like that. I mean a show so much about well. Adventure. Yeah. Anyways. Better spin out, they think the more they help the sound quality, anyways. <laughs> anyways, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's. It. Yeah. Anything else, uh. Oh, yeah, I, one thing I had to account for the last night. Recording of this was that for Duck t for uh, Dark and Duck, if this show it ends. And yeah, no, Darkwing Duck will definitely take its place. It's the perfect show to do it. I, I think I've been wearing rumblings that this might be the last season. So if this is the last season, then Darkwing starts in its place. So shit, that's the time. Not that I wouldn't want more of it. This is a great, really great show. And I could definitely go for two or three more seasons. But some shows, depending on stylings, are meant to go forever. Especially not when they have perfectly viable spinoffs that they can still show up and have an adventure or two in. But, anyways. Now. Uh, other thing. So, let's get to this thing. So, oh my god, this is... This is... I can't remember this. Take over the world. I had to count it. I had to count it on it being the bad guy's first adventure. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, so maybe it's not a, a full focus on it, but still, that was an interesting start. I kind of wish it was now. It to be. I feel it, I, I say that, and then I immediately realize Duckworth is still alive. Which means I was being a moron and completely missing the fact that the dead guy is alive. And yeah, no, this is the past. Oh, so he did that. Okay, so he retired from adventuring quite twice. Though this one is a very different style of it. Also, I, I'm so happy we got more regarding the emo, Donald. Thank you. Wow! <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. Oh, what if I made a money? <laughs> right, so it's not uh, it's directly following up that moment with uh, the little note card. I'm trying to figure out where in the time lapse is. She's direct. Uh, Weekly is Director 22 now, and. But. And where and how far apart the timeline is from that month. Oh my god, it, it was, he was the, oh my god. It's, they're literally the only people in foul at the moment, aren't they? 
Okay. His name is Bradford, I forgot that for a moment. I love that her first time in the pilot seat is still better than launch pads. Years of experience. <laughs> okay, so Black Iron's clearly in a robo arm. I just, I suppose I must have misremembered and thought she would have like, faked her death or something when she'd uh, lost her arm. That was the first time she showed up in front of Beat Me. At that moment, in that episode. Okay. I do like how much more, uh, lower tech her arm is. That's a nice touch. <laughs> You're right, Donald, you do it. I love it whenever they bring that back in. I love whenever they reference the video game. It's always fucking amazing. Well, I wouldn't say, uh, the amazing, but it's just always so fun whenever they reference it. Or sad, when they made the fucking song seem emotional. So, wait, he actually found out about Bradford? They must have used the person to wipe his memory of this. Or something like that, because obviously he didn't know until, it was too, until later point in the series. Aquatic skeleton pirate. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, that's actually super clever. <laughs> and she felt her obviously not final demise. Aw, the leaguer Donald. That's nice. Well, that was really packed. Uh, it, it, it keeps true track with what we know about Rodford so far. He, he, he's saying he, that, you know, it for, we wouldn't be going out to do blah, blah, blah if you guys weren't trying, constantly putting them in danger. The entire reason he's doing this is because the villains aren't putting them in danger and somebody needs to corral them. I'm sure he's trying to take out the world too, but. He's quite frankly smarter and more genre savvy than it is to pretty much any other villains, including that. Or then, except maybe, uh, the Moon Captain, what's that? Whoever his name was, I can't remember. That guy was plenty savvy, too, honestly. But he's, this guy is at least on par with him and comes at it without any of the dudes. Own particular issues. He's smart, he's stable. And he clearly managed to, uh, to print angle that entire organization to a much larger group. And just who? He said, it was nice such. I, I, first I was thinking, oh, first adventure villains. And in some way it was, but it was also the first adventure of, uh, Yeah, the, the team of, of Scrooge and the kids. The original kind of kids, which I really liked. Especially like, uh, eager little Donald. Because, yeah, he's so reluctant now. We don't really get much of that side of the character. If ever. I like his first little rage at someone for hurting his family. Uh, yeah, I might have just missed it. Baron, uh, Oh, that's a parent. Slip me, I can't. I, I, her name's the character's name is slipping me right now. Uh, entire uh, might have had the robo arm at the beginning of the episode, so it was just a direct follow up. But I, I think they've probably been, but from the looks of it, they've been doing this thing for a while. 
I was just briefly confused by the timeline. Some and some parts of it my own fault because you know, like that moment in the beginning where I saw the living duckworm and went, hmm, no, this isn't the present day, clearly. <laughs> I got you got screwed to take the kids away from him. <laughs> Uh. Ugh. But yeah. And that, this was a, 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 but that is also set after the Christmas party because that's when we first saw Bradford and the other three executive vultures that he recruited, or other two executive vultures he recruited to both manage the directors and. Also, run foul. And, yeah. So he, yeah, watched Scrooge and the other's memories, so they went from the brim, and then literally vanished out of there, too. And the artifact itself is removed from play. I wonder if it'll come back. I mean, the way it is, mentioned that it might, must come back at some point. Uh, I was expecting that to have some point in the modern day, but no, that was pure flashback. Well, it like I liked it. But, yeah. So, Meekly ended up becoming director of Shush before retiring. That's an interesting factoid. I, yeah, I guess it's just a matter of me forgetting some things from season one and two. Well, it's been a while, generally, and also because of the way this show came out. Making it take a little bit longer. It's just been a while since I watched the early, the early seasons. I just don't remember what happened. Uh, at that point. Uh, yeah, I really liked There's insight, it's more, another flashback episode like this, an insight into the past of the villains, more information of his motivations and origins. I, I could definitely do with more flashback episodes focused on the, uh, y the earlier adventures of uh, Donald and uh, Della and uh, Scrooge, preferably after uh, Donald got off to his emo phase. Well, I mean, obviously, I want more emo, young Emo Donald, because that shit's hilarious. But I also kind of want at least one or two adventures with him in, in the... Oh, when he befriends Storkiles, because I'm pretty sure I remember that I'm saying. When he first befriended Storkiles, he was exactly the kind of guy. He was much more closer in personality to Storkiles than the Donald we know. I'd love that adventure. That would be great. But, yeah. That's always a really good show, and I really do enjoy watching it. It's one of my definitely one of my favorite shows just to watch in general. And if I ever stop reacting, I still like the show. It's, I like the uh, <laughs> Donald's bit of luck, bad luck there, breaking two guitar strings and giving him black eyes, two black eyes. Of course, he sets the trap, the trap off. <laughs> but I also love how Bradford is continually just not having any of the civilized shit because he recognizes the fact that that's what kicks them feet. Even Moonanitis lost because he he engaged in that shit. He was smart enough and savvy enough every other way. Just to have an overwhelming advantage. But it still sabotaged him somewhat enough so that when. So that, yeah, you know, there was something for Long Gold to fucking take advantage of. So that is the question. How are they going to beat Bradford? It's like he's clearly smarter than any of the other villains. He knows how to use and manipulate them. Either. And. I'll still be an idiot. 
and uh, what's her name? Again, I forget her name. Robo Arm. Not the brightest bulb in the shed. She's still clever enough to come with good adventures and is a good operative. He's also got Gander D, who isn't an idiot and is actually really fucking smart. And we've only had one thing of Phantom Blot, but he's actually a competent and intimidating villain. So that's. So they've got some capability to actually, you know, do this thing. Restrain the stupider elements, unrestrain the smarter ones, or focus the, the smarter ones. I'm legit curious how they're going to win, because they, they clearly got some sort of plan. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 I just had an idea. You remember the, uh, the feather they took? How I proposed they were cloning Scrooge? It will be found by the heir of Scrooge McDuck. Well, what better heir than a more perfect than heir than a, cl than a clone of Scrooge McDuck? And we know this thing is a fucking literal a a uh, takes the stance of a literal genie. Yeah, you know, like sort of the exact opposite of Jin from Ruby. Spoiler, but yeah. some people will debate that; those people are morons. <laughs> now, uh, this one is very, is very literal, and it always backfires in some way. So, while it spared them that time, and it was such an early adventure, they must be trying to reclaim the parchment. Or at least it's one of their goals, and now they've got the clone to help them do it. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. I really like that. That's really nice. Really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's a good episode. Fun time. And... I wonder what they're doing next. All you do. But this is High Priest signing out, and I will see you all next time, folks.